You are, you are, you are, you are worthy to be praised. We give you, come on, sing us all. all the glory tonight. We give you tonight as you're sitting there. Come on, come on. You are worthy, yeah. Draw me. That's it. Come 
one hand and yes. Draw me, Lord. I'll come running after you. All oh, singers, come on, in unison. Draw me. Come on, say. tonight. Lift your hands if you know that's right. I'll come running, yeah. I'll come running. I'll come running after you, Lord. After you. I realize I can't live without you. Can't do nothing without you, Jesus. I'll come running, 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 running. I'll come running. Yeah. After you. Yeah, Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you, Jesus. I'll come running, yeah. I'll come running. After you. After you. Hey, there's a seek in my spirit. Is there a seek in your spirit tonight? I'll come running, yeah. I'll come running. Hey, I'll come running. Yeah, I'll come hey. running with all of 
of my issues and my problems, I'll come running to you. I'll come running. I've realized you're my everything, yeah. I'll come hey. running. God, you are my everything, yeah. but you Jesus nobody but you Jesus after you you are my everything you are my everything after you is there any worshipers in here tonight some of you are just sitting there but if he is who he is let him know that you're running after him I have my peace in you I live and move and breathe in you after you oh, 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 oh after you can you Check, hallelujah um Shamar this needs batteries it's dead can everyone just stand on your feet for a second and lift your hands? Just want to sing that song, Where He Leads Me, I Will Follow. And I'll go with Him, not half the way, not part of the way, but I'll go with Him all the way. How many of you made up your mind you're going to go with Him all the way? In the midst of all the craziness that's going on in the world, if there was ever a time you need to reposition your heart to go with God all the way. It is that hour that we're now living in. Come on, lift those voices and sing that song. Where he leads, come on, me, I will follow. Where he leads me. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads? Where? 
If you'll go with them all the way, clap those hands, open your mouth, and bless God. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun Hallelujah. to the going down of the same, Hallelujah. his name is worthy of all of our praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Praise and worship. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Just want to take a moment to share a short word, and I'm going to anoint you and let you go to your homes. I so appreciate all of you that were faithful to the fast. How many of you made all the fast, some of the fast, a day of the fast, whatever you made, wave your hand at me, Pastor. I fought a battle, some of it. And I say that to you out of sincerity of heart. That if God was not leading me, I would not tell you that. Fasting is not something that I revel in. Like, oh, I'm excited. Not even for me, but I know the necessity of it. This church was birthed out of prayer and fasting and lives in that. I want to read a couple of scriptures to you that I know God was saying coming out of this fast. And the first word was, you know, that little was becoming much. How many of y'all can give God a praise because you're in a miracle right now. 
And wherever that little is, give God a praise because it is turned to much. Uh, someone open your mouths. Up. Thank you. Open your mouths and give God a praise because little has become. It has become. Not going. That's why that scripture is so important. It says, according to your faith. Because somebody said, well, Pastor, it hasn't happened. And that's where you're stuck at. Because remember, I keep saying this to you. Faith is not what I see. Faith is what I believe. He says, if you can believe, what? All things are. So how many believe the possible has already take, taken place? And what was little has become much. How many of y'all can give God another praise for the much? See, the bigger your praise is for the much, that's how the much is going to show up. Hebrews first, 12. I want to read starting at 25 to 29. And some of you know um, Sister Vickers passed today. Another thing going on home. And whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, people are still dying every day. They said in New York, over 30 people die a day. Used to be over 100. And how many glad you're not in that number? Let me try that again. I said, how many y'all glad you not you wasn't in the number? So listen to this. Hebrews 12, starting to end. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. So when you hear this word speak, don't refuse it. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth. When Jesus was on earth and he spake and they refused it. And he said they didn't escape it. Much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Now, how many know God is speaking from heaven today? He is allowing us to look around and know that his voice is speaking loud and clear. And he's calling his church back to himself. Sad part is that the church is not hearing it and they're not coming. Whose voice then shook the earth? But now he has promised saying, yet once more I shake not the earth only, but also heaven. And this word, everybody say, and this word. Yet once more signifies the removing of those things that are shaken. And so if you're not fortified, if you're not grounded, how many of things are shaken now? And if you think they finished shaking, tell you they're not finished shaking yet. They're not finished shaking yet. I know everybody's looking for the way out. Everybody will say, well, you know, COVID's over. Then now you got Omni. And they don't and now today they say they got some other virus coming around. Every day there's something new. Because God is trying to get man's attention. He's trying to tell man, it's time to repent. Look at somebody say, it's time to repent. It's time to turn back to God. But I mean, oh, the more he shows, the more they turn the wrong way. Look at somebody say, which way are you turning? He says, signify the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made, that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. So unless you are rooted in God, you're not going to be able to stand in this hour. And the shaking is not over. Everybody shout out say the shaking is not over. I can't hear you. Open up your mouth and shout the shaking is not over. And I want you to hear that so you prepare your heart and your mind and stay in the word because it's not over. It's not finished. The Bible says when men shall say peace and safety, then comes the destruction. He said don't become at ease in Zion. Don't feel like I don't have to pray no more. I don't have to fast no more. It's over now, you know. Wherefore, we receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved, let us have grace whereby we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Everybody say godly fear. Godly fear. That means I stay on my P's and Q's. It means I stay at the altar. It means I stay in my word. There is a godly reverence and fear to know that God has not relinquished his requirement for holiness. 
He has not relinquished his requirement for righteousness and for us to be in divine relationship with him. And in this hour, how many know it takes you to fight? If you're going to live saved, if you're going to have a relationship with God, you got to make up in your mind that the fight is on continuously. And that's why even after this fast is over, how many know you need to have a personal fasting life? You need to pick a day or two every week that you turn down your plate and seek the face of God. The Bible says, for our God is a consuming fire. And how many of you are ready to put yourselves on the altar and say, God, consume me? Get rid of me. Look at somebody and say, Lord, get rid of me. You want God to burn in you so that there's no more of you and all that is left is just him. God, I want you to be in total control of my life. Let's go to Exodus 3 and 2. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. How many of this is a revelation that you want the fire to consume you while it yet burns in you? You want the fire of God to consume everything that's not like God. And when he gets finished burning all the draught out of you, all that is left is the pure gold of the Holy Ghost and a fire that will burn continuously. Somebody say, God, let me burn. Let me burn. That should be our prayer every day. Lord, let me burn. Let me be the light. The Bible says, at the entrance of thy word is light. It is that fire that burns. And when you talk about prayer and fasting, we're praying and fasting because we're in a day, a day and a time that demonic forces are literally, looks like they're taking over the earth realm. I said the other day, y'all keep Sister Nancy in prayer, how her brother was sitting on a park bench. You might have heard it on the news on Sunday, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and someone went to rob him, pulled out a gun, and shot him in the head. And one day, two men got shot in the head. It's not even like they're trying to shoot you in the torso. Or the other day when three people got stabbed in the neck all over the city because there is literally a demonic force of murder that's out there. I've never seen some people trying to kill people in the subway, in the park, on the train. And that's why if you go back and forth all day long and get back from your job or where you are back to the house, you got a reason to give God a praise. <laughs> you got a reason to give God a praise. So many times we take life for granted. Look at somebody say, don't take life for granted. And the more you're out in those streets, and let me tell you something else, and I said this last night so strong, and I felt it so strongly in my spirit. Pray for your family. Pray for your loved ones, because many times we pray for them all the time. You know, you'll take this all, you'll anoint their beds, you'll anoint their rooms, and still in their disobedience to God, and even you speaking to them, they, they open themselves to the hand of the enemy. And at the end of the day, they think they know everything. How many of y'all got them family members that they think they know more than God knows? But yet, if they get killed or they get hurt, it's going to hurt us. It's going to hurt us because we love them. So we have to stand in the gap. Look at somebody say, stand in the gap. And we've got to pray that they're in the right place at the right time. And that God will cover them in the blood. Somebody put your hands together and give God a praise. Put your hands together. Go to Leviticus 6 and 13. The fire shall never be burned. The fire shall never be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Look at somebody say, my fire can never go out. Now, what is the job of the enemy? 
to put it out. And how many know he don't care who he uses to put it out as long as it goes out? And let me help you. He's going to use the things that are closest to you to get it out. Think it not strange when it's your mama, it's your daddy, it's your husband, it's your wife, it's your, it's your daughter, it's your son. Whatever is close to you that affects your soulic nature, your emotions, that's what the enemy is coming in. That's why you've got to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. The Bible says, I will keep you in perfect peace. What keeps you in perfect peace? The word of God. The focus, you, you, that intimate relationship with God. And if you ever didn't have one before, how I many know you need to develop a real prayer life? A real time of consecration that you sit every day. How many are willing to give God an hour a day? Now, I ain't talking about no fake hour. I ain't talking about no Russian pass hour. I mean, where you really say, God, here's that. I, I, I know somebody, I want to give him 10 hours. Don't give him 10. Give him one good hour. And, and commit to the hour. Just say every day at 8 o'clock, it's my hour of prayer time. I ain't I cut my phone off, cut the TV off. I'm getting my Bible. It's just me and God. Look at somebody say, just me and God. And I promise you, if you honor God that way, God will honor you in ways you can't imagine. And then if you get one hour, you can go one hour and 15 minutes. You can go to one hour and 30 minutes. You can increase it. But just give God one. Everybody say one hour. I promise you, you will come back and tell Pastor Boy, Pastor, you were sorry. My life was turned around because I gave God just one hour. Remember what Jesus told the disciples? Can you watch with me? How long? Just one hour. And what were they doing? Sleep. It's bad enough when you're the person who should be praying for yourself and you sleep. The scripture said in the temple that, that and, I, and I thank God because the miracle of what we did this fast was that when they went back in the temple, they had enough oil for one day. But God gave them a miracle and the oil lasted. How many, know, how many believe God's giving you new oil? When I lay hands on you today and I know you, I'm anointing you for fresh oil that will burn supernaturally. When it should go out, look at somebody and say, it won't go out. It won't go out. How many of y'all can give God a praise because it won't go out? I don't care the test. I don't care the trial. I don't care what kind of water the devil poured you. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm waterproof. Amen. I'm waterproof. Leviticus 8 and 32. And that which remaineth of flesh... And our bread shall be burned with fire. You, anything in you that belongs to the flesh, you want it burnt up. All your desires, you want burnt up. And that needs to be your prayer. And how many of you got to be honest with God? Whatever those things that are in you that you know are not right, the things that you're struggling with, those are the things you got to keep on the altar. That's why that scripture said, if my people which are called by my name will humble themselves to pray and turn from there. Yeah, whatever that's wicked in you. I know the saints don't think there ain't no wicked in them. Think all the saints, I'm a saint, I'm perfect. Look at somebody and say, no, you're not. How, how many of us can be honest that we still got some ways that we need to get rid of? How many of us got some ways we still struggling with? And so God calls us to this place for one, to put a mirror in front of us to make us realize there is a battle going on and we've got to stay on the wall. Look at somebody and say, stay on the wall. You got to be like Nehemiah. Ain't no time to come off the wall now. There's a reality that's taking place in our nation, in our world, and it is the church to wake up and realize where we are. You hate to say it, it looks like the flame of the church is going out, but I thank God there's always a remnant. And if you're part of that remnant, give God a praise because you're part of the remnant. Leviticus 10 and 11. And that we may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And I, and I want to, and I said this yesterday, that I want to exhort you, press upon you, 
to spend more time with the children in your life. I am so concerned about this generation. I, I think I was talking to Sister Raquel some months ago, and we had a conversation of how this generation is so different when it comes to seeking after God. It, it's almost that I heard somebody that was on, I uh, was on YouTube, how you sometimes you pass and you just stop for a minute and you listen. You know, th there's a time and when, when I was growing up, when people wanted God, they just wanted God. They, they didn't need no, look at somebody said, they didn't need no extra. I just want, how many of y'all just want God? I, I don't need no blinking lights. I don't need no smoke. I just want God. And, and now it's almost like we have to create an entertainment place in order for us to go after God. If there's no excitement, then there's no need to go after God. How many know God is excitement all by himself? If you ever really get a taste of God, man, you, you, you'll come running. Um, a lady boy was um, talking to someone at a conference last week, and, and they were saying how the years they used to come to the gospel tent. And I've heard this over and over again. Gospel tent was sawdust and dust and heat and mosquitoes. And they said, but they, they, their lives were changed under that tent. And I mean, no, there was nothing extra. It was as hot, but there were some folks that were seeking after God. There was a cry after God. And, if, and the Bible says the righteous do what? They cry. God hears our cry and does what? He delivers us out of all of our trouble. How many of y'all ready to see God do a work in the earth realm, to do a work in this city? to do a work in your homes, to do a work in your life, if there is a real cry after God. Somebody open your mouth and give God a shout. Just open your mouth, just lean back and give God a shout. Tell God, do it, God, do it, do it, do it, down on the inside of me, do it, God. Don't need no extra, God. I want you more than I want my breath. Well, I can't even breathe without you. It's no time for strange fire. Sons of priests put strange fire and God killed them for strange fire. It's time for real fire. Not hype, but a real relationship with God. God wants to do something new in our people. He's looking. How many know in this hour, God's looking for a real remnant? I know people say, hey, I'm part of the remnant. But how many know God's looking for a real remnant? And a real remnant does what a remnant is supposed to do. It means that they hear the voice of God and they're obedient to it. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying that fasting is easy because it's not. I'm not saying being prayerful, praying an hour is easy because it's not. But those are things that you must develop in your life. They are a necessity. Look at somebody say, they are a necessity. Because I'm going to tell you, things, I don't know how many of y'all really realize it, but things in this nation, in this world, is gradually getting worse. And I'm going to tell you why a lot of us don't see it, because we have entered a spirit of compromise. We have, the saints have become comfortable with sin. The Bible says, I wish you were what? Hot or cold, but what are we? We are literally, in the Bible, we are the lukewarm church. We are the great church, and the devil has been so shrewd over the many years to feed us over television, over the Internet. So the things that used to abhor us to hear, to watch, to see, now it's like, well, you know, everybody doing it. Ain't that bad. So now you got the saints' kids smoking reefer. And when you confront them, they say, it's It's legal. It ain't bad for you. It's like medicine. I've been heard every kind of craziness in the lately. I can't even believe it. How many of all unrighteousness is one thing? It's sin. And the Bible says sin will do one thing. Sin is death. It'll kill you. And so we must, the remnant must now, you've got to stand in the gap. Look at somebody say, you've got to stand in the gap. If there's ever been a cry for the saints of God, if there's ever been a time that we got to sit there and pray for the body of Christ, for our children, for our family, it is in this hour. And that means it's going to be, it's, I, I don't know how many of y'all have been know, but how many know when you really intercede, it's painful. 
Real intercessory prayer hurts. It's painful. Why? Because you are warring against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. And when you go up to pull those strongholds down, those demons fight you back. That's why when they were trying to get the answer to Daniel, and, and, and he said, listen, Gabriel said, I, I was, I was listen, I came out, when you prayed, we had to answer. See, some of you don't even realize, God has already said an answer of deliverance for your house. He's already said the blessing that you need over your life. The problem is there is a spiritual warfare going on over your head. And you got to realize you got to get up there and fight. Look at somebody say, it's time for you to get up there and fight. Do I have any fighters in the room? Come on, y'all. Do, do I have any real fighters that are w w willing to open their mouths and really travail and to cry out to God? Though we are watching our nation slowly digress because of sin, because you cannot have a nation that legalizes sin after sin after sin and it not affect the nation. It's impossible. And then when you talk to the church, the church has now literally become in agreement with the sin. I talk to pastors. I talk to churches. Pastor, you need to leave that alone. It's not, it ain't all that. Sin is all that and more. And so it takes those who recognize sin for sin, who recognize unrighteousness for unrighteousness, who understand the real power of prayer. The that scripture said if we, if we, the church, would turn from our wicked ways, and only then can we get a word from heaven. That will bring healing to our nation. And how many know our nation really needs to be healed? We're in a situation here in New York where they've let all these people out of jail. And don't get me wrong. I think there's a, a tremendous amount of injustice in our legal system. Where I think there was a lot of things that were done wrong when it came to the situation of bail. But you can't go from one extreme to the next. And then you let all these people out who were on medication. So know what? Now they ain't on medication. And I'm telling you, that spirit of mental illness has exploded in this nation. I was talking to some people working in the hospital. They tell me, Pastor, we have more crazy folks in the emergency room than you've ever seen in your life. And how I many know oh, that's a spirit? But there's not enough power in the church for it to be casted out. So we will be doing, we've been medicating the demon. We, the church, has been medicating the demon. Because we don't want to spend time casting no devils out. Hello? Because how I many know deliverance takes time? Somebody's got to love somebody enough to spend hours, sometimes down on the knee. How many old-time saints would be on their face? Hand on the belly, talking about you coming out, speaking it out, you coming out in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go. I mean, I got to get home and cook my chicken now. It's too late. Past I can get down. Sweating and spitting and carrying all that stuff. Then if you ain't got no power, you're afraid of the devil. You're afraid to cast out, he jump on you, and you act strange. What are we going to do, church? Church don't want to pray. Church don't want to fast. So you know what it means? That's just an open door for the, for the devil. The devil used to be afraid to come to church. Now he's glad to come. Come down front, bring his friends with him. And then when you go about casting them out, they tell you, no, I'm fine. You know, they switch real quick. I've seen folks like that. I've seen folks who have got problems. You, you know they got issues. You can see the demon in them. And they'll come and sit in church, and the minute any deliverance come, gone. Look at something said, but we got a responsibility. And look at something said, we ain't gonna run for no demons. How many know we gonna cast the devil out? Somebody give God a praise, go, we gonna cast the devil out. It's our hour, it's our time. 
Everyone standing on your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lift those hands to the Lord for a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift those hands and tell God, yes, yes, Lord, yes. Yes, God, yes, Lord, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That's what has to be done. Yes, Lord, has to be down in your soul. God, I ain't got no time to play no games. The devil wants to take you out of here, you and your family. And if you ever gave God a yes, God, yes, 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 it's this hour that you open your mouth and tell him, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your will. God, I give you a real yes, not a fake yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. yes. Come on, open your mouth and shout yes. yes. Come on, open your mouth and tell them yes. yes. Hey, glory to God. Yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Come on, saints, open your mouth and tell them yes. Yes, Lord. Read letters that are so powerful. Yes, yes Lord. Lord. Yes, God, in the morning, in the new yes, day. Hey, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I want you to do. If I can get Mother Williams and Mother Bess to come, I want y'all to handle the prayer oil. Jackie, can you hear me? Bring the table down. You can set it down for them, make it easy. If you could just take that down. Sister Raquel, can I ask you to come to the pulpit? I want you to pray. Can you come up here? I want everyone else to move to the center aisle. Now, I've been fasting for these eight days. And I believe whatever I ask God to do, he's going to do it. And I believe with all my heart that what you want God to do in your life, he's prepared to do it right now. But it's, be, it's beyond what you believe for your own self. 
You, you, you've got to open yourself up. When I lay hands on you, I'm declaring that the fire of God burning you like it has never burnt before. That everyone here will be a spiritual Jeremiah. If you dare to try to sit on it, you can't sit on the fire. Jeremiah said, it's like fire. Jeremiah said, it's like fire. Shut up in my bone. An all-consuming fire. A fire that you can't pick, that you can't put out. A fire that wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning and you're on fire. A fire at 12 noon in the afternoon on the bus or the train and you're on fire. A fire that allows you to live holy and righteous because you're on fire. An all-consuming fire. fire. I'm going to lay hands on you. I'm going to speak the word. Little has become much and Lord set them on fire. After I say that, I want you to just find a place at the altar and pray. We got 30 minutes. I'm going to do this all in. So as I lay hands on you, you get your blessed oil and anoint yourself. Anoint your eyes that you can see. Anoint your ears to hear the voice of God. Anoint your lips because the power of death and life is in your tongue. Anoint your feet because he's going to order your footsteps to the right place for you to go to. Find your place at the altar and just give God praise. This is the call praise. Because I'm telling you, you made a sacrifice to be here tonight. And touch your neighbor in front of you and say, neighbor, I'm in a shift. I'm in a shift. I'm in a tonight, shift. God shifts you. I'm in a shift. That eighth day was the day of new beginning. Look at somebody and say, I'm in a new beginning. Somebody new put beginning. your hands together. Give God a praise. Because you're in, in the place of a new beginning. How many y'all give God Hallelujah. a praise? Because you're in the place of a new... I'm not... I am not in the old place. I don't care what it looks like. I am not in, I am the, not old in the old place. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, God, thank you for fire. Sunday. Thank you for consuming fire. Set us on fire again. Set us on fire again. Help us to put new wood on the fire, God. We need a fire that will never go out. God, we need to be on fire. God, let us be like Jeremiah. That fire that shut up in my bones. That fire that will cause me to live right. That fire that will cause me to witness uh, that fire uh, that will cause me God uh, God to do your will uh, in the name of Jesus uh, God set us on fire again uh, God set the apostle uh, on fire again uh, God set the pastors uh, on fire again uh, God set the saints uh, on fire again uh, God set the apostle uh, the prophet uh, the teacher uh, the evangelist God set us on fire God set the saints on fire God set the apostle God set the deacons God set the ushers on fire in the name of Jesus oh God we ask the Lord to remove those things with your purifying fire we need the refiner's fire we need the refiner's fire in the name of Jesus oh God set us in the fiery furnace to purify those areas that are not like you God set us ablaze again God set us ablaze again God some of us our fire has gotten low it's gotten low by trials and tests it's gotten low by the cares of this world but God today we ask the Lord to reignite our fire again in the name of Jesus oh God we thank you today Lord for bringing fire back to our altars 
Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for bringing fire back to our altars, back to the sanctuary. In the name of Jesus, oh, Lord, we talk to the Lord. God, I don't want to be a lukewarm Christian. God, I don't want to be straddling the fence. But God, tonight, we ask your God to do something down in our belly. We ask your Lord to stir us up again in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we ask your Lord that as we draw nigh, that you would draw nigh to us. God, we've been backslidden, but tonight, Lord, we ask you to heal our backsliders in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to come after those areas that is keeping the fire from not burning. We ask you, Lord, to burn up unforgiveness. We ask you, Lord, to burn up lust and perversion. We ask you, Lord, to burn up worldly appetites. Oh, God, help us to come out of the world. Help us to turn our back on sin. Help us to give you a real yes. God, the world is calling our name. The world is enticing us again. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, do something, Lord, that will cause me to never go back. We ask you tonight, Lord, to nail your people in a holy place. Nail us in a holy place. In the name of Jesus, I'm tired of being lukewarm. I'm tired of playing the fence. I'm tired of being on the surface. God, I want to come all the way. God, I want to come all the way. Oh, God, I want to come all the way. In the name of Jesus, set our souls on fire again. I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire. I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire. I wish the singers would catch on fire. I wish the deacons would catch on fire. I wish the ushers would catch on fire. I wish the mothers would catch on fire. I wish the young people to catch on fire. I wish somebody's soul would catch on fire. Tell them yes. Tell them yes, Lord. Tell them yes. Lord, may this fast be the fast that you have chosen. God, we need some bands of wickedness to be loosed out of our lives. We need fasting to break the yokes and destroy the burdens in my life. God, tonight, Lord, I don't want to be the same. I don't want to be the same. My family needs me in position. My church needs me in position. My family, my community, my co-workers, my life, they need me in position. God, come after every area that won't submit. God, come after every stubborn place. Come after every area, rebellious place. Come after God, that part of me that don't want to yield. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want to say yes. I tell you yes. I tell you yes. I tell you yes. I tell you yes. 
set us on fire, set us on fire, set us on fire, like the match, like the match that will never go out. I don't want my fire to go out again. Yes, yeah, Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for a fire that's never going out. Thank you for a fire that's going to last forever. In the name of Jesus, burn the flame again. God, tonight, blow a wind that will blow the fire. Blow a wind that will increase the flame. In the name of Jesus, yeah, Lord, sit upon us like you did on the day of Pentecost with clothing tongues and a fire. We ask you, God, to burn up everything. We thank you tonight, Lord, that you came with the fire. God, we thank you that you are purifying the impure places, that the refining fire is burning up every area that's not like you. Yes, go down, Lord. Go down to the secret place. Go down, God, to the area that's hiding in the name of Jesus. Fresh strength, fresh oil. We thank you for fresh oil. We thank you for fresh oil that's running now. We need new oil for this hour. We need new oil for this time. We need a fresh oil. We need a fresh anointing. I can't go into this next year with the same oil, with the same influence uh, with the same experience uh, oh god uh, that new wine uh, that new wine uh, fall tonight uh, we need new wine uh, we need new oil uh, we need new wine skins uh, in the name of jesus uh, thou anointest uh, my head with oil uh, my cup hey, uh, is running over uh, surely uh, Goodness and mercy is following me all the days of my life. Who shall ascend until the hills of the Most High? He that hath clean hair and a pure heart that has not lifted up his soul to vanity. Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up. The everlasting doors and the king of glory and the king of glory and the king of glory he's coming in he's coming on in he's coming on in he's coming on in hey he's coming on in king of glory come on in come on in we need the king of glory to come in in the name of Jesus we thank you today that you are anointing us for this hour we thank you that you anoint us with the oil of gladness with the oil of joy we thank you for the oil of the Holy Ghost we are the Messiah. We thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn, 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 burn up jealousy, burn up envy, burn up backbiting, burn up lust, burn up perversion, burn up hatred, burn up bitterness, burn up rejection, burn up fear. God, I want to be right. I want to be right. I want to be right. I want to be saved. I want to make it. I want to be ready. When you come, I want to be ready. In the name of Jesus, I don't want to preach to others and I'll be a castaway. Lord, make 
me right. Lord, get me right. I love you. I love you today. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you for your grace. Yes, let this fire hit my children. Let this fire touch my son, touch my daughter, touch my grandchild, touch my niece, touch my nephew. Yes, we stand here. We stand in the house of God. We thank you for sending help from the sanctuary. You're sending help to my address. You're sending help to my wayward daughter. You're sending help to my rebellious son. You're sending help to my backslidden grandchildren. We thank you that the church will stand. We thank you that the church will stand. I thank you that the church will stand. We're coming out with the victory. We're coming out with power. We're coming out more than conquerors. The church will stand. I'm in the midst of her. I'm going to help her. And that right early, God, you say, upon this rock, I will build my church and the gates, whatever's coming out of hell, the gates of hell will not prevail. I thank you that the church will never go down. The church is powerful. The church is the life giver. The church has the answer. I thank you that the church will stand. And God, you said that you would come after the church and you would cause us to be a body without spot or wrinkle. I thank you that judgment must begin at the house of God. We ask you, God, to judge us in your mercy, to judge us according to your loving kindness. Don't judge us in anger. Don't judge us with your wrath. But God, judge the church with your kindness. Shall not the God of all heaven and earth do right. We thank you. Lord, we thank you for renewing the strength of your people because God, Satan is trying to wear out the saints. He's trying to discourage the pastors so they'll quit. But God, in the name of Jesus, put a rod of steel in Pastor John A. Boyd's back. We ask you to hold him up. We ask you to keep him. We thank you, Lord, that we ain't quitting, that we're not going nowhere because God, we're strong in the Lord and in the power of your might we put on the whole armor of God and we will be able to stand against the wiles of the devil I thank you Lord that we got the helmet of salvation that's why I can't lose my mind I got the breastplate of righteousness that's why he can't touch my heart and God my feet are sound with the preparation of the gospel of peace. That's why I'm walking in the right way. I'm walking in the right way in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for prayer and fasting because you said that this kind, it doesn't go out, but by prayer and fasting, we cast out the devil. We cast him out of our children. We cast him out of the drunken man. We cast the devil out of the drug dealer. We cast the devil out of the gang leaders. We thank you, Lord. Power.
power is in prayer. We got power in prayer. Hold on, I see her. Touch Pastor Tony. Touch Pastor Tony. Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I do a new thing. Increase him now. Increase him on every side. Touch Nadine. Touch his wife. Touch the ministry. A new importation. A new level. A new level. A new level in the word. A new level in consecration. Cover him under the blood cover him under the blood from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet in the name of Jesus you are my strength you are my strength you are my strength God I got weak sometimes and God sometimes I feel like I'm gonna give up but you are my strength you are the strength of my life hold on I'm see we thank you for prayer. We thank you. We thank you for consecration. We thank you for rooting out every tree that's been planted by the enemy. Lay the axe of the Holy Ghost to every tree, every tree, every tree. Every root uh, that has been planted uh, by the enemy, uh, acts of the Holy Ghost, uh, acts of the Holy Ghost, uh, cut away, uh, cut away, uh, cut away, uh, cut away. Praise him, praise him. Open up your mouth and shout glory. Open up your mouth and shout glory. Open up your mouth and shout glory. In power. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Are there any grateful people in here tonight? Open up your mouth and tell them, thank you, Jesus. It's another day's journey, and I'm so glad. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. He's worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. His name is to be praised. Oh, bless your name, bless your name. Praise the name of Jesus. I love the name of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, come and open up your mouth. 
Give God the glory. Give God the praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. On behalf of the young people. Yes, Lord. Fire. 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 Set a fire on the inside. Set a fire on the inside. Let a match your heart. He shot that on the ball. Let a match your God. That can be put out. Let me get put some oil in your hands. I, I want you to walk around this church and anoint every pew. And, and wait a second, I'll stay right where you are. Don't change that, that vibe. 
And I want, as you pray for the pew, shout fire on this pew. We're going to set Bethel on fire. When folks come and sit down in the pew. Ah, da, ba, 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 ba. Oh, la, ma, ma. Every pew. Oh. Fire. Shout fire, Jalen. Fire. Oh, pray, Jalen. Fire. Fire. We thank you for the fire, God. We thank you for the fire that's every, in Bethel, Jesus. As soon as they walk in, they feel the fire. When they walk out, they still feel the fire. We thank you for consistent fire. We thank you for consistent fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Consuming fire. Battle on fire. Battle on fire. Battle on fire. Thank you, Jesus, for the fire. Thank you, Jesus, for the fire. Thank you, Jesus, for the fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, God, set us on fire. Yes, fire, God, God, set us on fire. Every chair, every fire. seat. Fire. Oh, say, sit on fire. Set they us on fire. Stand on fire. Yes, Lord. They worship on fire. Yes, Lord. Fire. Like Elijah fire. called fire down from heaven. We fire. call the fire down. Yes, we Lord. call the fire down. Fire. Fire. Fire, fire in your home. Yes, Jesus. Fire on your job. Yes, God. Fire. 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 Set us on fire, Jesus. Set them on fire, Jesus. While they watching right now, God, set them on fire. While they watching in their homes, God, set it on fire. Fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the fire. Oh. Fire, fire, fire. 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 Come home to the fire. Come home to the fire. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ah, ma, 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 ma. Fire. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and tell her hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're any two. Agree on earth as touching anything and everything. It'll be done of my father. It's done. It's done. It's sealed. Ah, that word over your life is sealed. Ah, Glory, God. Hallelujah. Glory. Ah, yada, ma, ma, ma. Dare you to lean back and just open your mouth and shout glory. Glory, God. Glory, 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 glory. 
glory be revealed, God. Try to take time to minister to you the word of the Lord as he spoke it to me. Don't back up on that word. Move towards it. Now you know how the enemy is. He's going to challenge you. But God said, I sealed it. I sealed it. It's not in your feeling. It's in your belief. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. You have stepped into a place you've never been before. You've stepped into a place that you've never been before. Watch God. Watch God. And I even hear the Lord say, as the days go by, I'm going to grab some of y'all, and I'm going to bring even greater clarity to the word that I spoke over you tonight. But God said, receive this. Receive it. Just lift your hands and say, God, thank you. Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Some may seem impossible, unbelievable. Me? This? Yes, exactly what was spoken. Without a doubt. The only thing that can steal it from you is if you give it the enemy authority to steal it. By your insecurity, your doubt, your words that cancel what God has spoken over you out. But lift those hands one more time and say, I receive it. Said so the impossible has become possible in my life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Before we go, I want to receive an offering on this last final. I did not take an offering. That we took one offering the whole time this fast went on. But I want if I can get some envelopes really quick. Shamar. I want to get at least ten people that will stand with Pastor tonight. And sow a hundred hour seed. I'm 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 the tenth. So I need nine other folks who know this is God. Ever since I've been on this fence, I said, when you come into Moses' tabernacle, on the outer court is the brazen altar. It's the place of sacrifice. You got to lay it down. I don't care if it's your last. It will not be your last. I promise you. This is the kind you got to get up on. You got to say, ah, whatever I got to do, I got to do this. Somebody already heard God put it on the altar already. That's God. Come on, there's four other people. Hear me. I don't normally say that. If it's your last, come take this envelope tonight. I said, Shamar, come on. I don't care if this is your last hundred. This time, I'm telling you, it won't be your last. You can't afford not to serve this seed, sow this seed. You cannot. Yes. Yeah, they're taking cards right over there. Y'all got cards. They got the card. Well, they get mine too. They gotta like, do it by a card. Got it right there. See that one right there, brother Williams. That all, that one. That envelope. Put it. Put it in the basket. Now you said, Pastor, I did not have a hundred. I just say I didn't feel like giving it. Because if you got anywhere tonight, give it. I'm telling you, you won't miss it. I'm I'm, I know what I'm talking about. When I get like this, I know. This is going to release something. Pastor, it hurts. I want it to hurt. I want you to give this under and let it hurt. Because that's when God proves himself the best, when you're giving it, and it's the struggle, and it's the sacrifice. That's when God really shows up. But if you say, Pastor, I obviously did not have it, but I will sow the closest thing to it. Come get an envelope out of my hand, whatever that is. You know what it is, and God knows what it is. 
You know what it is, and God knows what it is. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Lady Boyd, I'm going to sew it for you. Is it over there? Is it under, is it under my jacket? Or oh, my Bible? There it goes. Hallelujah. You sewing something, right, Kiki? Every young person, if you got to send up with a dollar, every young person, I want you to sow a seed. What? Yes. What was you waiting for, Jalen? What was you waiting for? Oh, yeah, you don't. I get some more envelopes. I need some more envelopes. Bless you. Bless you. Soon as you have it, you can just drop it right in the bucket. You don't even gotta wait. Soon as you got it, if you get on the car, or whatever, just come drop it right in the bucket. Oh, I feel God. What a presence! What a presence! A little slow. Look at somebody say, I was in the right place at the right time. You that are watching my internet and were blessed tonight, sow that seed. You have the $100 seed, sow it. You know how to give. You've been giving. If not, sow the closest thing you have to it. I prayed for every last one of you tonight. That anointing that was in this place is right where you are today. Fresh fire. Fresh fire, fresh fire. Sweet, what's your name? Everybody point your finger, your hand this way. I just want you to shout, miracle. Done. Thank you. Watch what I tell you. (laughs) 
Remember, you serve the God of miracles. So what do you know about your God? You see, one thing, if I don't know nothing else about him, I know he's a miracle worker. He is the God of the supernatural. And nothing less than that. Now, let me say this to y'all. Think it not strange that the Holy Ghost wake you up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning. Think it not strange you wake up praying in your sleep. And when, it, when you wake up, go to it. Don't force yourself, I'm going back to sleep. No, 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 go to the prayer. Go to it. Get it. Roll out of the bed. Get on your knees. If you got people in the room, go get in the closet. Go in the bathroom. Get up in the shower, put it, pull the shower curtain. Whatever it is, go to it. That pulling, that wooing, go to it. Because you're about to watch God do something so awesome. Don't forget, praise and worship. Those who are going to be part of the production tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. I want to thank praise and worship tonight. Thank you all so much for the last minute coming through. Thank you, Lady Boyd, for coming being here. Thank you, all the brothers, finance, all my brothers. Thank you for your faithfulness, for the nurses. Thank you, hospitality, all those that worked. Thank you for sound, Anthony, coming through. <laughs> Emmanuel, thank you, too, please. Shamar, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Raquel, for letting the Lord use you. Thank you, Jesus. It's done. Done. Tomorrow. Yes, of course. This, this lady's hand. You know, he got, every once in a while, he got that rebellious spirit on him. Now, um, let me see. Okay. Caswella, stand up. Now, God, I thank God for her. How many of y'all thank God for Sister Caswell on her? Real heart towards God. Keep her in a lot of prayer because Jalen is her son. See, you think that's bad. That's not bad. So you can reach your height in God. See, you thought it was something negative, see? See, you read it wrong. Um, we are working to be a blessing to some children, both in our church and outside during Christmas. I thank God for Sister Val. Valerie, stand up. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for Sister Val. <laughs> Sister Valerie, call you. It's nice, Mom. I asked her to work hard with us for toys or tots, and they called us today and gave us a little... Truckload full of toys. Put your hands together. I got worried for a moment. I called up. She said, call the sergeant. I called the sergeant up. She said, she said um, Pastor, somebody else is going to pick up all your toys this afternoon. I said, who going to pick up my Who going to pick up my toys? They gave me a name. They found it was a little mix-up. I said, well, let's get that mix-up straightened up. So if you know a family, or it may be you, don't be bashful or ashamed. And you know somebody who really needs some, somebody who's really in need, let Sister Caswell know she's working with us. She's been working before we, I, this door even opened up. We fully had it. She was working at the hospital, them get, giving her toys at her hospital. Amen. And if you know somebody, now we're going to be also helping uh, Mother Walker's daughter, Sister Yvonne. They have um, angel tree. Now, we didn't normally... we do angel tree early. We passed out the little angels. We didn't do all of that. So we spoke to her today, and she definitely needs uh, gifts for boys. So if you don't mind going shopping a little bit and pick up some gifts for some, some of the boys, that will be absolutely fantastic. Tomorrow we'll start sorting out what we have so we can be a blessing to as many families as we can. I know sometimes, you know, when you're in a situation, you think it's automatic that every child gets a toy. But how many know it ain't that way? Some people 
I try to make sure they got food on the table, no less a toy. And so we don't, we want to be a blessing. So if you know a family, you know a mother, a single parent, somebody you know who's struggling and can't make it happen, let, you can let the sister Caswell know, give us the age and the gender boy, girl, and we're going to see what we can do to be a blessing to as many people as we can. How many of you enjoy making somebody smile? I, I, that's the, that's where it's at. That's where it. Again, I appreciate all you being here. How many of y'all glad y'all came here tonight? Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad I came here tonight. And you can't imagine. I was supposed to have a meeting with Brother Emmanuel at 630. I was at 630. I was in warfare. Lord Jesus. I tell you, see, you know, y'all don't think pastors, pastors are human. And sometimes situations come up and you be going like, this, the devil is a liar. And I, I was on, on the phone one time for an hour and a half. They have you just on a waiting we're sorry. We'll be back to you as soon as possible. I said, one more time, I'm going to throw this phone. But thank God. God is faithful. How many believe God is faithful? And I know he's doing Everybody standing on your feet. Oh, it was so rich in here tonight. It was rich. Put your hands together. It was rich in here tonight. God. Now, I pray everybody got their blessed all and your prayer cloths. I, well, you can't. You got Bible school. You got Bible school. That's a commitment you got to keep. Lift those hands to the Lord. God, I thank you tonight for your daughters and your sons, my sisters, my brothers. I thank you for these that were obedient and came and received this impartation on tonight. For the eight days of prayer and fasting, God, you promised us that little would become much and that God... That that fire that you lit on the first day would go all the way through into a new beginning. God, I decreed a new beginning over their lives. That you've shifted them out of the old into the new place. And God, we sealed it. The devil has no access to it unless we give it to him. And we're not giving them any. So, Lord, I thank you for this season that we celebrate your birth and God, the greatest gift that we can give to you is to bring somebody into the kingdom who does not know you. We pray as we reach out to our communities, to our family, our friends, that the gift of love and compassion would draw someone to know Jesus Christ. Now we bind the hand of the enemy that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But we speak the life and the light of God over every life. We cover them in the blood. We cover their families in the blood, God. We put angels of protection around them. And God, when all is said and done, we will give your name the glory and the honor. Now, as we prepare to leave from this place, now all those who are watching are prepared, wherever they are, in their homes, their jobs. God, to leave this place, but never your presence. That wherever we go, we take your presence with us. We thank you now, God. We declare it for your glory and for your honor. And the people got lifted their hands, declared in the atmosphere, I am what the word says I am. Somebody shout, I am blessed now. Put your arm around somebody and tell them now. <laughs>